Hi Brian. How are you doing today? You are looking a little glum. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not feeling too well. I'm perplexed, confused, befuddled. Well, you get the idea. Yes. But why? Tack time. Tack time? What about it? The mere mention of it sends shivers down my spine. I don't understand its purpose, particularly for us since we are in a custom or job shop environment. Ah, I understand. You probably have seen the calculation for tag time. You know, take the working time available in a period such as a day and divide that by the average demand. Yes. But, we have such a wide range of work going through the same equipment and resources. I just don't understand tack time. Well, let's begin with understanding the purpose behind the concept of tack time. Sounds like a plan. Well, the idea behind tack time is to understand the requirements of our customer in terms of quality demanded, and then set up our operation to meet that requirement. That makes sense. Right. So, in some production environments, such as higher volume automotive, we determine the number of vehicles to assemble each month and determine a tag time. This might be something like 30 seconds, for example. Then, we ensure that we have the right staffing level and the right standard work to meet that requirement. Ah, uh, I see. We then measure our output to ensure that we are meeting tag time, and we make adjustments along the way. We would then recalculate tag time monthly based on changes. Yes. I get it, but how might that apply to a job shop? Well, in a job shop, we also want to meet customer requirements, but the requirements are not quite as simple as calculating average demand and tag time. Right as rain. They are not. Instead of calculating a set tag time that says we must output one unit every 30 seconds, we might set a standard based on the mix of work. Mix of work? Yes. We might develop a capacity plan that says we can produce X number of high complexity jobs per day, Y number of medium complexity jobs per day, and so on. Yes. This would be based on our historical mix of incoming work. Right. And then we would staff our operation accordingly and schedule a mix of these jobs each day. We would then measure our performance throughout the day. I see to ensure that we are meeting our planned output. Just as if we measured our performance in producing a car every 30 seconds. Exactly. I've got it. Thank you Julie. Where did you learn about all of this? I've never heard about the underlying purpose behind TAC time. EMS Consulting Group. www.emsstrategies.com They offer training, consulting, and other online resources as well. Excellent. www.emsstrategies.com I will check them out right now. I will come with you. I would like to visit their site as well.